Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to sign on to PowerSchool. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the PowerSchool website, which is this right here, powerschool.kis.or.teachers.sorry.or.kr/teachers. And once you do, it'll take you to this login prompt that you'll see. Once you do, sign in with your username and password, and once you sign in, you'll see the list of classes that you have. So in my case, I don't have any classes, but when you do, you will see the list of all your classes by blocks. This is also a website you're going to use pretty frequently here at KIS. So I recommend bookmarking this or adding this to your bookmarks bar. So I have this right up here, so when I come to school, I can easily take attendance before every lesson. The way you do this in Google Chrome is you just hit the star right here and add this to the bookmarks bar. And once you do that, you will see it up there forever. So that is it. So what I want to do now is show you how to take attendance in PowerSchool, which you should do at the beginning of every class. And what I've done is I've um, gotten this from another class, but once you log into your PowerSchool account, you will see your classes as listed here. So in this case here, for example, we see like these three classes, and uh, take note of this little chair here. And the chair is where you're going to click to take attendance. Uh, you will see chairs for all your classes, but the ones in brown will be the ones you have that day. Uh, the green dot right there indicated that it had been taken, but if you click on that, it takes you to a list of all the students that you'll see here, and then the attendance. You'll have alerts such as like when their birthday is, uh, if there's any medical issues over here as well. And for the most part, it's pretty easy. Um, if they're there, you don't have to do anything. However, if, for example, a student is tardy or absent, uh, you'll click on the box, and then right here there'll be a drop-down. And the drop-down will basically just be a little code that you can use to populate this field here. Once that's done, you'll hit Submit, and then you'll see the little green dot filled in, which means attendance has been taken for that class. Uh, if you have made a mistake, like if you, for example, marked a student as absent that eventually came, you can go back and reorder or resubmit that, which will override previous um, sort of data entries for that class that day. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, take attendance every day just to make sure that all the students are in your class. Uh, and as you can see right here, there's a drop down to unexcused, tardy. Um, but once you do that, uh, you're set. This last tutorial is going to show you how to access the backpack of information. And once you've logged into PowerSchool, like you've seen here, here are some of my old classes uh, which aren't there anymore. Uh, I want to bring your attention to this backpack right here. And if you click on the backpack, it brings you to a list of every student. And from that, over here, there'll be a drop down menu that has a lot of cool features. Um, some of the two that I think are really helpful are quick access or quick lookup where you can see how students are doing uh, academically in all their classes, and also the one that says demographics. Demographics gives you contact, uh, phone numbers, and emails of parents of all your students. So this is our last tutorial with PowerSchool. If you have any questions, come see the EdTech Department. Thanks for your time.